Good afternoon. My pleasure to welcome everybody here for a surprise bow renewal ceremony for Pam and Rob. Oh, this is better than the drive. My name's Dave Chick and I'll be your celebrant here today. If you could just take a moment, please silence your phones, any noisy electronics that you may have, and we'll get this ceremony started. friends and guests. I welcome you here on this fantastic day for an afternoon of romance and celebration and to witness the renewal of vows of two very special people, Rob and Pam Peterson. Before we begin, Rob and Pam would like to thank you all for coming here today for this special celebration. We're gathered here today to celebrate one of life's greatest moments the vow renewal of two hearts. In the ceremony today, we'll witness Pam and Rob renew their vows in their marriage. For nearly all of you, this ceremony is a bit of a bitter surprise. There were a couple of you earlier looking at me very strangely and thinking that uh, I was a possible party crasher, come to eat all the prawns, drink all the beer and sneak off into the surf. Pam and Rob have done a fantastic job in keeping this uh, under wraps and I'm sure you're all going to enjoy this today as much as they will. Today we've come together to witness the dawn of these two lives, the new dawn of these two lives. Romance is fun, but true love is something far more, and their love has stood the test of time. They desire to reaffirm it, and that's why we are celebrating today. But today is also a celebration for the rest of us. For it, is, for it is a pleasure for us to see their love in bloom and to participate in the renewal of vows of two people so delightfully suited to one another and to have a couple of cocktails in the process. Feel free to give a cheer when you see so or hear something that you like. And Pam and Rob have asked me to pass on that you're welcome to take as many photos as you like, but just make sure that your ringtones are turned off. So let's get on with it already. You've shared the joys, the blessings, and yes, the challenges of being married for 50 years. And this day, it's your wish to reaffirm your commitment to working together to make your marriage grow and blossom in the years to come. May the ceremony and renewing the vows you took to become husband and wife on your wedding day remind you that despite the stresses inevitable in everyday life, your love, respect, and trust and understanding of each other will continue to increase your contentment and heighten your joy in living. A good marriage must be created. In marriage, the little things are the big things. Never being, never being too old to hold hands. It's remembering to say I love you at least once a day. It's never going to sleep angry. It's standing together and facing the world. It's speaking words of appreciation and demonstrating gratitude in thoughtful ways. It's having the capacity to forgive and forget. It's giving each other an atmosphere where each other can grow. There's a common search for the good and the beautiful. It's not only marrying the right person, it's being the right partner. Pam and Rob have been married for 50 years today, and that in itself needs a solid round of applause. No! <laughs> For the last 50 years, these two have formed a, spot, formed a bond stronger than anything else imaginable. They've created a beautiful family with two lovely children, five delightful grandchildren, who are the apple of their eyes. Every year for Christmas, Rob tells me he's the biggest of all the kids and loves nothing more than seeing the looks on their faces of everyone as they open up their presents. After talking to these two for a bit, I have to wonder where the adults are around here. But Pam tells me that she's the one suggesting the outrageous toys and gifts and everyone opens turning the whole house into a crazy, laughter-filled war zone of Nerf guns, water pistols and silly string. 
They should have maybe looked around to see if they're not hiding a super soaker or anything around here today. <laughs> Pam and Rob met many years ago while Rob was a lifesaver at the Bronte Surf Lifesaving Club. Pam was having a day with her friends at the beach and Rob was being Mitch from Baywatch before that was even a thing. <laughs> <laughs> One of Pam's friends dared Rob to dare her to ask Rob for his phone number and to win the bet she did. And instead of throwing it away, she she kept it, and that night Pam made the phone call that would tie the two of them together for the rest of their lives. The Surf Life Saving Club become Rob's home away from home for over 40 years. The club made him a life member for all his time and effort and contributions to the community. In their time together, Pam and Rob learned that like all marriages, they had to work at it to make it succeed. When the kids came along, Rob reduced his time at the Surf Life Saving Club so he could be a dad to both Tony and Kate, teaching him to ride bikes, climb trees, and gaining just as many bumps and scratches as the kids did. Pam made sure everyone knew their ABCs because how would it look if the school principal had kids that couldn't read? <laughs> They've also done their best to stay healthy. Every morning for the last 48 years, Pam and Rob have done the 2K walk from the surf club to Bondi Beach and then back again. And that's before they start their day. That's well over 70,000 kilometers. And with that many Ks under their belt, they're well entitled to a few cocktails here this afternoon. Their house of love, as it was so beautifully referred to, really lived up to his name. When the kids brought home their partners, Rebecca and Trevor, to meet Pam and Tom, Rob for the first time, sorry, Rob, for the first time, the parents welcomed them with open arms. And when grandkids came along, it became impossible to wipe the happy smiles off their faces of these two. Always holding hands, giving each other kisses, <laughs> and saying nice things to each other, you'd swear you walked into a home of newlyweds instead of a couple that's been married for over 50 years. Rob, will you continue to have Pam as your wife and continue to live in this happy, loving marriage? Will you reaffirm your love for her and will you love, honour, honour and cherish your wife in sickness and in health, richer or poorer, or better or worse, forsaking all others, and be faithful to her as long as you both shall live? Do you promise to continue to love, honour and cherish and protect her and be faithful to her as you have done. And do you promise not to whine when she forgets to take out the trash, pick up her clothes from her floor? And do you promise to continue loving her even after she has no teeth left? <laughs> you better. <I'm> there already. <laughs> <laughs> Pam, will you continue to have Rob as your husband and continue to live this happy, loving marriage? Um, do you reaffirm your love for him and will you love, honour and cherish your husband in sickness and in health? For richer or poorer, for better or worse, forsaking all others, and be faithful to him as long as you both shall live. Do you promise to continue to love, honour and cherish and protect him, and be faithful as you have done? Do you promise not to you promise not to whine at him when he forgets to take out the trash, pick up his clothes from the floor, and do you promise to continue loving him even after he has no teeth left? There are three rings. <coughs> excuse me. There are three rings in marriage: the wedding ring, the engagement ring, and the suffering. <laughs> we hope the latter can be held to a minimum. <laughs> Pam and Rob, on your wedding day many years ago, you exchanged rings as a symbol of the never-ending cycle circle that connects you to the eternal quality of God, unending strength, and unending love. May you always re wear your rings as a reminder of your vows to one another, of your commitment and continuing to live in unity, love and happiness. To remind you of this commitment, you will now renew your vows. There we go. That will be yours, you just read that one in yellow. Man, 50 years ago, I pledged to you my love and commitment feels just like yesterday. I promise to love you on a year time in the future. I pledge to be beside your side in sickness and in health, in times of want, in times of plenty, for better or worse, for the rest of our lives. We have heard all those things, and you have been my strength, and you have been by my side as we create our family, our home, and our life together. Today at the beginning of our 51st year, husband and wife, and the first 
God and that man came. My beloved occupation, and you might ask to you, taking my eternal love to you, and eagerly awaiting what, what may be. Yes. you make to each other on your wedding day. You symbolize this renewal by joining of hands, taking of vows, and the exchanging of rings. It's with great pleasure I conclude this ceremony of renewing your vows of marriage. Please celebrate this renewal of, with a sign of affection. It's that time that you've been waiting for. You may now kiss each other again and again <laughs> and again. <laughs> children Tony and Kate be their witnesses to sign of this renewal certificate and if you can join us over here uh, we'll just uh, with a few, few strokes of the pen we'll make it all happen come on and bind you with husband and wife. Please put your hands together and give a hearty cheer for Mr. and Mrs. Pam and Rob Peterson.